Hey, hey, it's free and welcome to this month's video blog episode of The Soul Growth. First and foremost, as always, thank you for tuning in. It means so much to me and I'm very grateful for your presence in my life. And this is going to be a little bit of a long topic, so excuse me if I'm speaking very fast, but I want to try to get this done in as little time as possible. Today's topic is about embracing acceptance and releasing expectation. But in case you haven't noticed, there is a trend with these videos. The five whys was about you getting to the root of what some of your issues, concerns, and problems are, what your traumas are, what your bad habits, where they came from. And the video after that was about the forgiveness decree. And it's all about forgiveness, learning how to forgive those people and yourself for having created that problem within you and then the next video was about reprogramming reprogramming so that you can break these habits because sometimes you can know that this habit exists and you know it's there but you don't know how to break it so the reprogramming tool was really great for that so if you're following along in this trend embracing acceptance and releasing expectation makes your life a lot easier so I want you to think about something how does it feel when you have expectations on you. Sometimes you know they're there, and sometimes that can cause a certain level of fear, be fear of judgment, fear of rejection, but then there's always expectations. We are a in a world where expectations are the norm, right? But that does not mean that it's okay. People tend to have these expectations on us. They don't speak them, they don't voice them, or if they do, they're beyond our capabilities, and that makes our life more stressful than necessary. So, Think about it if you were in a, if you had parents that had all these expectations from you, they expected you to go to school, do excellence, get all A's, and then graduate the top of your class and do whatever. There are always expectations on us. Your, your job wants you to stay at a certain level and make sure that you're keeping up with the trend or staying on top and, and, and providing excellent service and making sure that you're just the top of the top. There's always that expectation. However, that puts a lot of pressure on you. And I'm pretty sure you have felt that type of pressure. But how do you feel when you are just accepted? Because that is all we are ever looking for. We want people to accept us for who we are, what we are capable of doing, how we move, what we do. Like we want people to really accept us. That is the root of all of it. So why wouldn't we want to provide that same acceptance to everyone else? You can't change the world. You can only change you. You're only in control of yourself. And when you remember that, then you can deal with life just a little bit differently. So this ex the expectation issue has been a big one for me, definitely over the last four years when it was brought to my attention that I had a lot of expectations from people. Because to me, I just thought they were standards. And there's a very, very thin line between expectations and standards. And I haven't quite figured out how to not blur that line just yet, but it's a work in progress. So... I personally feel like there are varying degrees of acceptance. So where I am in my journey right now, I accept people for who they are. So if I don't like what you do, say you're someone that is just really mean and whatever, I accept that you are someone that's really mean and I don't mean you directly, of course. But that doesn't mean that I have to allow you to stay in my life. So that's where I am in my level of acceptance, but I truly desire to get to a place where I accept it and I understand that that is a limitation and so that I can't give you that much power over me and I just have to learn how to deal with you accordingly. I really desire to be at that ultimate laid back, as people tend to say, level of acceptance. Um, my expectations personally come from a matter of control because if you aren't meeting my expectations or you're not this, that, and the third, you know what? Okay, bye. I don't need it because I don't want the extra stress. I don't want the extra frustration. Disappointment. Expectation always equals dis. Okay, not always, but frequently equals disappointment, right? So, and another thing, expectations equals resentment. There are resentments waiting to happen often. Serenity and peace of mind will tend to come when you just learn to trade ex expectations for acceptance. And I'm going to say that again. Serenity and peace of mind comes from trading expectations for acceptance. People just want to be accepted. People just want to be loved. You just want to be accepted. You just want to be loved. So why can't we start this new pattern and set a new trend and be a different way? All right. People are who they are. 
They will always be who they are. No matter how much you ask, no matter how much you try to will it, no matter what you do to try to change how people respond or how people do things, people are going to be who they are. And for you to expect them to be within alignment of what you desire, want, or need. For example, you call up a friend and you're like, hey, you're, you're calling them because you need something from them. But then they don't answer. So then whatever it was that you needed, say you were stranded on the road and you called them. Now you're mad because they have not come through. But are you really upset that they didn't come through? Are you upset because they didn't live up to the expectation of what you had in place? Right? This is what we tend to do. We have to really ask ourselves, are we really upset because people are not in alignment of what we feel that they should be doing? Are we disappointed because they are not in alignment or are we genuinely upset with them as a person? And sometimes that's just a reflection of something that we need to deal with most of the time because we have to understand this is not it's not all about us. One thing that I really learned from a very valuable book that I feel that everyone should read, The Four Agreements. By Don Miguel Ruiz, and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before. Really excellent book, short read. He talks about don't take things personal. That is one of the four agreements that walked that really resonated and rung true, so true with me that I just was like, oh my gosh, I take things personal. A lot of the times people are not doing things just to upset you or annoy you. People are on their own agendas. They have their own processes and purposes and reasons in their mind. And nine times out of 10, they are doing something. Most everybody thinks they're a good person. I promise you, even the bad guys who kill people and do really awful things, a lot of the times they don't really feel like they're bad people. They feel like they're really good people. And some of the people around them tell you, he's a really good guy. He just kind of got some crazy quirks about him. You know, this is something that we have to understand. But we, when we understand that we shouldn't take something personal that someone does, then we are less likely to be as offended, to be as frustrated, to be as annoyed, because you're just like, you know what, that's just them being them, whatever. And we do it sometimes with certain people, but usually the people that are closest to us, their quirks affect us the most. Having a sense of some strong self-respect and knowing who you are, knowing what you are, is a really great thing to have, because then that means that you are not allowing people to have power over you and your emotions. However, not so much self-respect, not so strong that you're absolutely close-minded to constructive criticism, but just enough to know that I'm not giving people the power over me. Like if you walked out of the house today and you knew that you just look so fly with what you had on, you were like, I know I'm looking really great today. You're glowing, you're bubbling, you walk and bump into 10 people and they tell you, oh my God, you just look so good today. You're glowing. How awesome. And then you get to work and one person, just one person says to you, why are you wearing it? Those colors do not work for you. That outfit is hideous. Like it's just, they saw you glowing and they just decided to pop that bubble. And that one person can invalidate everything those other 10 people did and ruin your day. But if you had that strong self-respect, you would know. I look good in this outfit and any other outfit that I'm wearing. I am always beautiful, gorgeous, and wonderful. That's another topic, though. <laughs> Excuse me. So at the end of the day, I really just want us to understand why and how we have expectations from people, why we should let go of expectations, because everybody just wants to be accepted. And I cannot say that enough. Everybody just wants to be accepted. You want to be accepted. I want to be accepted for who I am. So how can we change that? Be the change you want to see in the world. A wonderful quote by Rumi. Love it. All right. So a few tips actually five tips to help you understand or to be aware and conscious of how you can make a change. Number one, express your desires clearly. If you have hopes and desires and expectations, express them clearly if you must. All right. So then people know where they are and then they can either choose to be with an alignment or not. And if they're not, oh, well, you know what? You have to find the happiness within yourself before you can expect someone else to bring it to you. Expect that people won't change, then everything else is a bonus. If you lend somebody money and you know that they have a tendency not to give the money back, have the expectation that they won't give you the money back. And then if you get it back, it's just a blessing. Thank you. Appreciate it. Release attachment to the outcome. Don't hold on to, and this is what I'm really bad at, the hope that they may expect or appreciate, understand, love, value, whatever you have done. Understand that. That's just not the way it may work. And when you 
understand that, when you embrace that, then you are less likely to be hurt when someone doesn't fall within alignment of that. Number four, ask yourself the question, are you expecting them to respond in alignment of what you desire or how you would respond? People don't always act the way you would act because everybody has their different experiences, their different mindsets, their different agendas. Everybody always has something else going on. So they may not respond the way you respond. You may be an excellent server or you may be an excellent friend, but you can't expect everyone to be within alignment of that. And last but not least, show love even if you disagree. And this concept comes from touch and agree. Ultimately, even if you don't agree, you want somebody to accept your opinion, your thoughts, your views when you have them and just leave it alone. You don't have to fuss and fight about it. You don't have to try to change your mind. It's not up to you to change your mind. It's up to them. Embrace that. Show love even if you disagree. All right. This is not an overnight process. This process has taken me years to even get to this point. And actually doing all the research on helpful tips has actually helped me tremendously. Being conscious of how you are being having placing, excuse me, expectations on people has helped me a lot in understanding that, okay, this is how I can change that. Because knowing is not really half the battle. It is the first step of the battle. And I say that all the time. So don't forget, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, and I'm so sorry that I've gone so long, but don't forget that I offer one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions, and I offer other services as well. Definitely check out the site. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, don't hesitate to email me, the soul growth, all one word at gmail.com. I'll put all of that information below. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Love and light to you. Be blessed and until next month, I can't wait to see and hear about your experiences. Bye. Hey, if you tend to skip the pictures, please don't this time. There is a quote coming up from a really wonderful speech. It's a little snippet. I really want you to hear it. Thank you. When I expect from other people, it is, if you do this, then I will be happy. But if I have found my way of creating my happiness, then my happiness is not dependent on your behavior. And when my happiness is not dependent on your behavior, I can accept your behavior as it is. The problem is actually not about the other person's behavior. The problem is more about our happiness. Because I am happy only when you do it this way. But when I learn to be happy this way or that way, because I've started manufacturing it myself instead of going like this, automatically you will not even realize when it will happen. Expectations will start reducing, acceptance will increase because you are filling yourself up and you have started radiating it instead of begging for it. So